Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JP Productions and I'm back with another shooting form breakdown for y'all. Today we'll be looking at Jason Tatum's form. OGs oh, already know that I've already done one for Jason, but I had to delete it due to some issues and thus classified. I decided to make an updated one, so be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and let's get to it. Let's start with Tatum's set point. Tatum has a high set point near his eyes and eyebrow. At his height, his jump during his jump shot, then his high set point. Now that's going to be tough to block. It took me a minute to figure out if Tatum's a one motion or a two motion shot. Don't get me wrong, it's okay to be both, but for my final analysis, it seems like Tatum is a two motion shooter. Some may disagree, and I don't blame you. Look at his form. It's nice and silky, but in my eyes, it seems like there's a bit of a slight pause as the ball is en route towards the rim. Moving on to Tatum's shooting elbow. It seems so perfect, huh? No chicken wing, just the perfect alignment. Now there's many tips and keys for having great alignment, but one thing that stuck out to me was, every time he would get into his shot, he would manually tuck his elbow into his side. By doing this, you allow your elbow to stay aligned and straight towards the rim, which will equal a more accurate shot. Lastly, let's get to JT's offhand. Thumb flick or clean? I'll give y'all a few seconds to take a shot. Yes sir, Tatum has a steady offhand. Many coaches preach to always have a steady offhand, and I agree. The less action on your form, the better the shot will feel and be for you. Get this breakdown to 200 likes and I'll drop another form breakdown on another player. High school, college, NBA, WNBA, middle school, elementary school, you name it. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. It's your boy JP. Till next time.